This video is produced by Sailrite. This video captures a portion of the tour that was given at the Sailrite Sail Loft to the traditional small craft association. Let's get started and show you some of the clips from this tour. Jeff Frank and Matt Grant are explaining how sails are designed. Sails are all designed on Sailrite's computer plotting system. Much of this video has been cut down. This was a three hour tour of our facility. And here's Jeff Frank explaining a little bit about sail design. It's, I'm your own sail maker. So you talk to me, tell me what you want, and I incorporate it into the design of the sail. Um, like I mentioned, this is, this is a cruising spinnaker from a, a Cal 22 modified for the SC 22. Jeff Frank, our sail designer, attempted to explain all the details that goes into designing one of these sails on our uh, software system. And here he's showing many of those that toured exactly how that software system works. So the software ensures that the length of the edge of one panel will match the length of the other panel so that, you know... You don't have to retrim the edges. Mm. So everything comes together the way it should. And everything should come together with the shape that we've designed. So then once he's done with the design, uh, then and the software breaks the panels down into their individual components, uh, then what he does, his job next is just to utilize the fabric as efficiently as possible by flipping and rotating fabric or panels and nesting them in a manner where it fills the width of the fabric, which of course is all variable. So uh, depending upon what fabric we throw on the table, he, he changes that in this software. And then uh, once he's done with this, then we kick it out to the plotter. The tour group also got to see firsthand how the 55-foot plotter bed works. Here we're plotting out a sail, and you can see the pen marking the seam lines directly on that fabric. There's no guesswork involved when you make a sailrite sail kit. This table incorporates a vacuum system that helps to hold the fabric onto the table top while the pin marks the fabric and while the cutter cuts each panel out. All panels are designed with the exact right shape that Jeff Frank designed in the computer system and even intermediate reef points and batten points are marked on the fabric with the plotter system. A portion of the group wanted to see how the Alterfeed LSZ-1 sewing machine works, and here's Matt Gordon demonstrating it. One of those visiting wanted to see how the uh, hand crank works, so Matt's going to show him how to do it. No, he's actually going to let him do it. I'm going, yeah, so this is really right. Can you sew backwards on this? Yeah. But only with the reverse. You, have a, you just use the reverse lever. This guy the grabs the material, and there's also a dog on the bottom. Lever, so. It's grabbing yep. it. Here Matt's sewing uh, eight layers of a seven or eight ounce stack run sailcloth material. Take what? Climbing webs. Oh. The Alterfeed LSC-1 sewing machine walked right over that webbing without any problem at all. Put my webbing down? Yeah. That's about equal to the tack on it. Let's go back so, to the plotter. Uh, what Jeff does, and this is obviously a sail kit, because what Jeff is doing is uh, he just goes through and he marks what is a seaming line, what's a reef point, etc. With all the kits that we do, you get a wireframe drawing. And the wireframe drawing shows you uh, not only where the reef points are, shows you how the patches are going to be on the sail, and then each of the panels are numbered, so you get the numbering sequence for the panels. Mm -hmm. And then if you're really a techie and you want to understand the design of the sail, uh, all of the XY coordinates are listed here. So you, you've got a vacuum table, mm -hmm. yeah. and, and the, the machine has a, a blade in it? Yep. Yep, blade and pen, so we're marking the seaming lines and then we're doing the cutting. We discovered that this customer actually built a sail kit. Here's his comments. I can give an unsolicited testimonial that the yeah. kit that I got was complete. The instructions were just super, and everything was there, everything worked. The only problem was the machine we were using and our technique on the machine. That was our problem, not, not the 
So you would suggest if you're going to do this again, use one of their machines instead of the home machine. <laughs> I was actually that would, that would help a lot. And of commercial. Now the tour group moved to the loft to see how the sails are constructed. On the perimeter of the sail, and you can see that as she's been putting the panels together, everything is matching up perfectly at the, the beginning and the end. And what Deb does here is she she starts with but the best way to build a sail is to think about it and think and break it down into terms where you're thinking, how do I sew this assembly together without having all of these other assemblies attached? So if we were looking at this particular panel, it's much easier to sew this patch on before I attach this panel to the adjacent panels. And that's really that's really at the heart of sail making. Now for small boats like this, doesn't matter that much, but let's think in terms of a sail that would, you know, stretch this entire length of this table, and all of a sudden that becomes very important. Otherwise, your stitch quality uh, starts to go down. So what she's and, and you're starting to see the shape built into the sail. Uh, it won't lay completely flat on the floor because of those curves that we saw uh, earlier when we were looking at individual panels and. Uh, that's also why it's important for us to put the lines on the sails for things like the reef point marks, because once you start having the shape in place, it's harder to figure out what a straight line across the sail is because the draft gets in the way. So the cutter system and computer design makes it a lot easier for us to do those things. Now, essentially, where Deb starts then is she starts with patches. Here she would have had to join a couple panels together to get this patch on. She does the intermediate reef patches, and then as she goes, she'll take a panel assembly, and she'll join panels. And Deb, I'm going to let you do this. What she's going to do here is she's got a double stick tape that she has already put down uh, on the, in, in the seam allowance there. And, and it really is nothing more than a, uh, an acrylic-based tape that won't yellow over time that stays on the seam after she reveals the glue and sticks the panels together. And uh, basically she just lines up the edge and uh, she'll stick it down and then she proceeds on. And I've seen a hundred different techniques doing this. The technique she uses, I couldn't do. I do it where I trap it with my knee and I'm moving away from the fabric as I go. And I'm trying to equally stretch both layers. Deb tries to do it with very little if any stretch at all, which is probably a better approach. But in the end, you know how well you did because you have a you have a scorecard, and that scorecard is how's it going to end up at the other end. <laughs> yeah. And if it doesn't end up well at the other end, you, you know that uh, you could have done it better. Um, and what will happen if you don't get it the same on both sides when you fly that sail? You would notice that one one panel seems very tight, and the other panel seems like it has small wrinkles coming out of it right at the seam. And that's an indication that you overstretch the tight layer compared to the other layer. We are skipping around quite a bit here, but here you can see Deb sewing the sail panel together using the professional long arm sewing machine. This touring group had a lot of good questions. Yeah. Um, one of the things that you can do to be more efficient in sewing is have yes. machines set up for specific tasks. Here, Deb will show how to sew on the bolt rope using the Alterfeet LS1. I'm going back, and then I'm going to get right up on the rope, and I'm going to stitch the rope in. She's right up, right up, right up against it. She's basically going to force the, the rope into the foot. Before she sews next to that bolt rope, Deb's actually uh, securing the ends of the bolt rope by sewing right through the bolt rope at the luff edge. Now she's going to sew right next to the bolt rope. The final step in completing this sail kit is the grommet installation, and here the group witnessed how grommets are put in. These are the spur grommets that Sailrite sells. Oh. There was only one spare, and I wanted to do a from all of us here at Sayerite, we'd like to thank those that visited from the traditional small craft association. It was truly a pleasure to meet all of you.